you might be faced with this scenario in your career. Either maybe a student has submitted an assignment and has submitted the wrong thing or wants to add to it or maybe a quiz or an exam that um, they just something happened and it's not right. They want to re a chance to redo it or maybe you would like them to redo it but Moodle is locked down. What can you do? Well you can change it. Let's look at the quiz first of all. I am signed in as a student right now and I am going to look at quiz number one. Now this quiz, it's the highest grade and um, they've attempted it one, two, well four times. Um, they can reattempt this one as much as they want. It's the way it's set up. Sometimes you can only have one attempt or sometimes it's the average. But let's say that this student, this last one here where they didn't get anything right, let's say that their younger brother or um, something happened and they didn't actually want that to come in. That's totally up to you. As a teacher, you can log out of the student, log yourself in, and in that course, you would need to find that item again. It was called quiz one. I'm going to turn my editing on because I need to be able to change how things look. I need to choose quiz one. Okay, it says there's been a four attempts on this quiz. That's all that one student has done. If you've got more students, this attempt's gonna be higher. But we go into the admin tab over here and I wanna look at the results. Okay, these are all the results that have happened. This would be your whole class. And the students, this last one, you don't want to show up. All you need to do is check off whichever attempt you want to get rid of. So maybe you want to do one or, or check off all of them. You can choose all of them if you want. And right down here, you can delete selected attempts and it's gone. It, get, it asks you, it says, are you absolutely sure? Because once you delete, you can't come back. Yes, I want to get rid of that attempt. Now there are only three attempts listed. In this case, it didn't affect the mark because it was the highest mark anyway. But you know, if you have an average, if you're taking average or if you only get one chance at it, this could come in really handy. So that's how you would reset it. As an assignment, um, the student has handed in assignment one and it's not, it's been submitted and maybe it's graded and they're like, oh my gosh, I forgot it's the wrong one. When they would click this button to edit the submission, it's going to say submissions closed or it's going to give them a message that no, you can't do that. You can change that. Again, you are going to look at this here. It tells them that for elementary development, a student I was, change a submission change is not allowed. We're going to choose the checkbox. And with the selected ones, with all the ones I've got checked off, I don't want to lock the submissions anymore. I want to unlock them. And it, again, it prompts you. This could be. If you lock it, you can unlock it. It's not going to affect, it's not going to delete anything. It just allows the student to go back in. So now if we go back into assignment one, we should be able, uh, well, it'll, mine still says it's closed because actually I'm locked down. You know what? I'm going to go change mine as well as the teacher here. I'm going to unlock those submissions as well. So your student now, if you go back into assignment one, now that yellow bar is, is done and I can go in and I can edit. So maybe I didn't want to put the blank worksheet in. Maybe I wanted a filled in worksheet. So if I edit it, um, it gives me a chance to go back in and re remove this file if it wasn't the correct one or add some more. Okay, so that's how you can kind of resubmit things where you can reset things so that students have more than one chance um, to submit things to you. Um, Thanks for watching this video and if you have any more questions, take a look at the rest of the links and see if one of the videos there or one of the pages will help you.